Hi everyone, Niklas Seidloff here from IBM and OpenNTF. In this video I'm going to show you how you can develop your own servlet and then deploy it to Domino. Sometimes it's necessary to, ter to return data as a result of an HTTP request which is not supposed to be rendered as HTML. For example, if you want to implement your own web dev protocol handler. Or also if you want to generate HTML and you want to have maximal control of that HTML. So there's a couple of ways how you can do that. Um, Stefan Whistle already blocked about it a long time ago, something that he calls XPages agents, which are XPages um, that are not rendered but return some data, as you can see here. There's more information on his blog. And there is another mechanism, um, which is sort of like a custom servlet API, if you want. There's an example in the extension library for how you can implement something very similar to a servlet. As you can see here, you get the HTTP request passed in and you return the HTTP servlet response. Now, the, the new way or the third way that I want to introduce here is, the, um, is how to implement a real servlet. A servlet that you then can call via um, your URL, either um, globally or in the context of a database. And um, that mechanism is possible um, by implementing a servlet via your Java IDE and then deploy that servlet as a OSGI bundle. So in difference to these other two mechanisms, the um, servlet is deployed globally rather than only in one database. So here's um, how the sample looks like. It's it's a um, very simple sample. Um, in this case, I call the servlet and it only returns that it's running and it also gives me the current user. And if I enter any database here, you can see it works as well and then I also have access to the current database. So that servlet runs in the context of the database and also um, checks authentication, etc. Now let's um, go into the um, IDE and um, let me show you how I've implemented that. So. This is my servlet. Again, it's very simple. It, it only re um, returns this data here. Um, it extends the HTTP servlet and it says I'm running and it returns the current user by using the API context info dot get user session. And um, if running in the context of a database, it also returns the database file name. Okay, so that's a simple um, implementation of a servlet. And um, in addition to that, you have to do um, two more things. First of all, in the manifest file, um, you need to define a couple of bundles that are required and packages that you want to import. Um, and then in the um, plugin XML, you define the extension point or your extension to the extension point um, servlets. And here you define or refer to your class name, servlet class name, and you define the um, the URL. Um, and that's pretty much it. Now, in order to deploy that, what you could do is, you know, simply an export, um, which generates a jar file, and then you put that jar file into this specific subdirectory of your Domino data directory under um, um, Domino Workspace Applications Eclipse Plugins. And then what you need to do is you do a restart, an HTTP restart, um, and in order to check whether the servlet is actually deployed, um, you can issue this command here, OSGI, with the um, name of your servlet. And that tells you that it's um, actually deployed. Um, so that's how you can um, test the servlet as easily as possible. Um, in a real deployment, however, um, you would want to use tools like um, the, um, the plugins deployment for Domino tool. Um, which is a project on OpenNTF that you can download. That project allows you to deploy this um, plugin um, very simple um, by just importing it into a database and then it is installed either um, by um, on the next restart of the HTTP server or the um, restart of the full server. Um, and, and this is using the um, update site template that has been shipped, uh, I think, since 8.0 but it has been extended to also deploy plugins to the Domino server. Now, this is functionality that you can use today on 8.5.2. In 8.5.3, a very similar mechanism um, will be part of the product.
but for now you can use this um, mechanism here. Now going back to the um, plugins directory, um, you know, as you can see it's empty, um, but why does it then work anyway? Now it works because um, I've set up some more tools um, into my Eclipse IDE that makes it a lot simpler for me as a developer to debug and test the servlet. Um, so I in fact don't deploy it to this directory but I use another tool um, which is called um, IBM Lotus Domino Debug Plugin. Again it's another um, project on OpenNTF done by uh, David Taib, and that allows me to point directly or tell um, my Eclipse environment uh, and the Domino server to load the plugins directly from my IDE. So let me demonstrate now what I had to do in order to um, set up the debug plugin. First of all I had to download the zip file from OpenNTF and then you can install it as any other plugin. The feature is called Domino OSGI debug feature. I've installed it already so I won't do it again. When you do it the first time you have to restart your IDE. After this you will see a new option um, in the debug configurations dialog under OSGI framework. There is now a new option Domino OSGI framework and this is where you can define the plugins that you now want to use directly from your workspace. In our case it's the Org OpenNTF sample servlet plugin. So what happens here in the background is that a file is created or a file is updated that is called PDE launch INI and when we open this file you will see that it's simply a link back to your workspace directory. So that's um, where we tell the Domino server to take certain plugins from your workspace. And also if you don't want that behavior anymore, if you want to load uh, plugins directly from your applications Eclipse plugins directory, simply delete this file. Okay, so let's go back. Um, there is um, some more configuration that you need to do um, as far as the target platform goes. So let's um, close this one here um, and open the preferences. Now the debug plugin um, only works if you point um, your IDE against the um, Domino um, directories and you have to point it to two directories RCP Eclipse and Shared Eclipse and that's because there is no link file um, as it exists on the server so if you point to nodes as your target platform you only need to point to one directory and the other directories I've, are found automatically in Domino it's a little bit different so that's one thing that you need to do and there's another difference um, compared with the client and that is um, how the, the Domino Java APIs are found. Um, on the client the Java APIs are part of a plugin and so they are found automatically. Now for in order to compile your servlet that um, uses the um, Domino APIs um, you need to create um, basically an empty project, I called it here com IBM nodes java API, where you import the nodes jar from your um, domino directory. And this is only necessary for compile time. This, um, this has not uh, to be deployed um, and you don't have to do anything in there other than to, to put the nodes jar in there and, um, and um, export it. Um, and let's see, there's, there's one more last thing that we need to do and then we uh, can actually, or that I can actually show how it works. Um, there is um, a documentation of this debug plugin and that describes that you also need to enable remote debugging on your Domino server, which can be done by setting these two nodes INI variables. Um, so once you have done that, uh, restarted your server, um, you can now go to debug configurations and define a remote Java application. Um, you know, call it whatever you want. I call it a Domino server. Um, it can all be empty. This is the same part as you defined in the nodes INI variable. <coughs> and then you can say debug. And I've done that already. I've attached already my um, Eclipse IDE to my um, Domino process. So um, let me show now how this works. Um, when I hit refresh I get the server that is running. Now I go back and the really nice thing is now 
I can change something here. Let's say I double this line. I go back and I see my change immediately without having to redeploy anything. And this makes development really convenient and, and efficient. And obviously I can also do things like um, setting debug points. And it brings up the debugger right here. I can step through it, um, etc. Um, there are two limitations though. Um, as far as this um, hot deployment goes. And that is whenever you change your plugin XML, um, whenever you add a new extension or um, change um, an existing one, uh, in other words, essentially whenever you change the interface um, of your plugin to the outside, you need to restart the server, um, the HTTP server, and you have to um, reattach um, or you, you have to, to launch the debugger um, again, the uh, Domino server. Um, and also another use case where you have to do it um, is if you change, um, if you add, for example, a new variable here, uh, let's say private in test, and when I now save, I get a notification uh, directly from um, the Eclipse IDE because it already recognizes that now um, the um, the hot deploy um, doesn't work anymore and it tells me that I need to disconnect um, and then I have to restart my HTTP starver, uh, server and then again I can launch my um, Domino um, remote application. Um, so those are the two limitations that you should be aware of um, but in my experience you know the, these things occur rather rarely because usually you, you, you spend time working on your code rather than changing the interfaces. Um, so I hope this video has helped. Um, please uh, test it and let us know what you think. Thanks a lot for your attention.